What is going on gamers? It is Dom here back once again for another TW2020 video. This time we'll be looking at five mods that you guys should pick up right now. Whether you're a fan of real world, uh, some fantasy, maybe stuff even similar to Seaverse there. Just completely wacky stuff and everything in between. We're looking at five mods that you guys can get your hands on right now that I highly recommend. Not in really any order, uh, but stuff just a little bit for everybody. So kicking it off here though, I will be showing you guys the Fganic mod. It is more of a sim mod. You'll be going through and simulating the world, but you can play it still and you start off very early in the 1920s and here I've simmed about 13 years and see that the world, you know, has generated, you know, a few companies. Uh, there are some that are bound to rise up which makes it you know not entirely random but it gives you just a little bit more life to it there now the rest of us here are just they're random and you're just gonna see like how the game generates and it gives you a real good um instance of how the game is balanced and you know what how the dojos will generate workers because there's no uh, way to turn off worker generation at the moment so it shows you kind of how many workers are going to be generated uh you know what's going to balance it out in different regions of course there's no um, broadcasters and whatnot starting off uh, all this stuff will come later and whatnot so what's pretty cool is that these actually are like radio show broadcasters in the beginning and then it'll go to television and pay-per-view as it progresses it also lets you see the old school if you're using the original um version of the skins for the game uh how they progress you know all throughout uh here with the like newspaper look to it which is pretty pretty cool i will say it's got some very interesting stuff going on for it i'm not a fan of the original like seaverse style uh but with afghanic i think it's a lot more tolerable to get into because it's not a world that i'm not used to it's a world that's being created around me essentially Next up, we'll be taking a look at the mod known as War of the Immortals 6. Uh, compared to the previous iterations, Jan S has now gotten a hold of it, and uh, it's going to take a lot of work to get it to the full version that it needs to be for TW 2020, but it is right, playable right now. Uh, of course, attributes and stuff need tweaking and, um, you know, contracts and kind of figuring all that out and a good balance for stats. Uh, but you can beat anything all throughout the main history of wrestling so if you want to go back and have wcw join an alliance with AEW, or have all the tna's conglomerate into a giant global force alliance you, you can do that you know there's like 18 million wwe's you can pick from um and it's got wrestlers from all around you know I love the art style too. It makes it that much better also. Um, you know, for the most part, people are on handshake agreements, so you don't have to worry. So if you're saying, hey, I want CM Punk, but I'm like NWA, you can do that. You know, it starts off with handshake. Only the people who essentially were tied down to one company their entire career, like someone like John Cena, uh, it would be a lot harder to get a hold of there. There's even some people to kind of balance it off. So like Shawn Michaels with like the old classic WWE and like Triple H and whatnot there for, um, like the ruthless aggression and the attitude era for like steve austin and whatnot so yeah there is the war of the immortals there for you guys highly highly up on that list of recommendations for you guys if you kind of want to see a little bit of just everything like what if matches you know for instance i always go back to uh, if brian pillman jr and senior got to tag team together as a father-son duo stuff like that uh if rick flair's um like flair family dynasty actually was a thing uh or just dream matches between people in their primes like a cm punk in their prime and aj styles in their prime or I, that's kind of where you want to go to but uh maybe a rick flair in his prime and like a darby allen i don't know just you can kind of do whatever in this mod and i absolutely love it for just literally being uh the pinnacle of everyone's career even when some of them are uh, hot-headed doing drugs so you gotta have to be careful there Coming in at number three here is the Ruthless Aggression mod by Mr. Villain. By the way, if I haven't said it in uh, prior versions, now with intros, it really brings more life to a lot of these mods, and uh, most of them do include their own custom intros um, here. So I really like this one. It brings this the say of, hey, there's a big brand warfare going on. You know, we're past the time of WCW. Now TNA is trying to rise up and uh, kind of give back the glories there of prior times. With the indies also riding strong, making new stars, such as Samojo, you can see 
there. Uh, in terms of user characters, you got the classics. You got Freddy Prince Jr., David Arquette, Dennis Rodman, Trishil, uh Kenatella. There was some goofy ones um, from before in the original version of Roots of Discretion back in 2016, but they have been removed. We'll just hit a play character here, and we'll show you guys some of the companies. You know, I like the art style here. It's also more of like a very simplistic style, nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, you have WWE, which is just at the pinnacle and at the top of there. We'll just be the owner of it here to show you guys a bit about some of our people. Show you some title designs, what they look like. Triple H is at the peak, right and high. But on the other side, we do have Brock Lesnar is a pretty nice so yeah if you guys want to live through vicariously in the attitude air sorry the ruthless aggression era right after the attitude era has uh done and passed uh make some new stars or even try to rival wwe is tna i highly recommend this mod um it gives you just a lot of stuff to do that's pretty cool on to number two guys like I said, guys, coming at number two is going to be Diablo X Mod by Flesh. I absolutely love this. As someone who uh, is a big fan of comic books and superheroes and video games, you just get so much with this mod that you can do. And uh, if you guys have ever played 9000 Verse back in the times of 2010, 2013, and even a little brief stunt in 2016, uh, Flesh basically took over here for that genre of just all the cool, wacky stuff you can do. So you see, we got Looney Tunes. We got uh, things like Soul Edge which is more fighting we have uh truth and justice for superheroes my favorite right here is uh one that is like the mortal Kombat, and also now you can see you can play as developmental companies and this was one of the developmental ones so you can even do that uh we have stuff for like the green lantern people we got stuff for joker and just like uh another big one here is with the gta characters and red dead and by who's by rockstar and i think the bully games there so you can see we got batman or uh, i was say batman. we got superman here all the way at the very top He's the dude at the very top. Of course he would be, guys. And if you just put in a person, you'll probably find him more likely. Like Mega Man. It's my dude. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, here's a quick look at Diablo X for you guys and some of the people you can expect. Just pure wackiness and insane fun. If you guys need to get away from uh, the real world, especially at the time right, right now, I highly recommend Diablo. It's, it's such a great mod. And uh, hopefully, Felicia continues to update it. Um, but yeah, it's uh, completely ready for TW 2020. If you guys can jump in, um, still stuff, of course as uh, the mod gets updated with attributes and uh, new companies there's been some previews there uh, but we'll leave it at that for you guys and on to last but not least number one last but not least guys we have the real world mods whether you're a fan of landex or quest love taking over for flesh or the who 87 or killing the business guys i gotta get it, hand it off to them because they are working their asses off for more than just monthly updates some of them even have weekly updates or daily updates to fix things and you just gotta give it off to them now the one that i ultimately recommend for people is uh landex it's a good one to jump into and start um mostly for statistic wise uh but also attributes and stuff it's fairly on point uh for balancing with tw 2020 uh, i know there's been some criticism mostly for like how it's done with um like the stats can be a little bloated here and there what you guys usually come to expect with these real world updates is everything going on with wrestling right and now so of course 2020 is an odd time if you guys are watching this in the future i definitely wish i was you right now but that's besides the point you got stuff going on with wwe and nxt and the war against AEW. you guys can check out what's going on there and uh, for the most part they usually stay very active and up to date on what's going on with the title situations so props off of there no matter what mod are you support for uh, ultimately your modern day if you're going with who and you want more people and just everything in between and have the free reign which i recommend if you have a buffy uh, pc and good hard drive honestly go with that one um but the stats may be a little bit lower to some people's likings landex more arcadey style feel highly recommend for that one ktb i see a lot of people love and praising it uh you might be a fan of the art style there too uh or the quest love taking over flash's beloved and how it kind of balances as the game progresses and builds talent there uh ultimately like i said props off to all of the modders here uh there'll be a link down below to the mod index on the forums and to wdb if you got your mods from there other than that, everybody be safe as always and we'll see you guys next time peace out